and said, um, you're looking good. I said, well, why ain't this promoted? He said, basically, there's no money in it. It's free. And this is a doctor telling you that, yeah? No, I'm not telling you this. I know what a lot of people out there are thinking. What a load of crap. Yeah. And that's the only thing I can suggest is instead of mouthing off, giving me a load of crap online, yeah. try it yourself. Yeah. That's yeah. all you got to do yeah. is try it yourself. Give it a month. Sometimes I get so hungry, you must have all experienced this, you get so hungry, you can't walk past your fridge. Yeah. I got to have a, a slice of cheese, yeah. a, a little bit of meat that's hanging, hanging about in the fridge or something. In this video, we show you a weekend that we had away, um, just south of Mukdahan, um, and we'll show you the hotel we stayed in. Beautiful little hotel right on the banks of the Mekong River. Uh, there were two reasons that we went down there for that weekend. One was because of um, a Thai friend of Pook's, who Pook knew back in the UK. She hadn't seen her for years, and we needed to go down and see her. And also, um, my friend Dave Ozzy, he lives in Jom Tien, but he's up, he, he's up that way at the moment, uh, visiting his wife's family. Now, you know that Pook and I, we're, we're looking into health issues now. Um, we're involved in a health food company based here in, Ta in Udon Thani. But I really want you guys to watch this, you know. Um, it's got to a point where you really should be your own doctor to a certain extent. You really should look into health issues, educate yourself a little bit, and you can be the ultimate um, person who determines the way your health goes not all cases obviously but in a lot of cases now meeting up with uh, my friend dave ozzy i promise you you'll be astounded you'll see the pictures you'll see the video and you'll be absolutely astounded and blown away at how he's turned his life around and it really isn't that difficult i promise you so stick with it and i know that a lot of you will benefit from it so we've driven uh about five about five and a half hours outside of Udon Thani, heading um, slightly southwest, uh, southeast. And we've come, we're staying in this hotel, the Kong Hotel. I'll tell you why we're here in a minute. There's two main reasons why we're here. Kong Hotel, right on the Mekong River. They've got like function rooms here. They've also got a restaurant. Uh, maybe the restaurant's here. But hi. And a function room there. And then we come down here. I think that's the restaurant there and the breakfast room. Who could give you details about the hotel in a minute, the cost and everything? There you go, there's only about 20, 24 rooms here. You see, it's only a small hotel. It would have been nice if we'd have got a room this side, but uh, fully booked, and we were lucky to get the rooms that we got. I say rooms, it's, uh, we're down here with David and Oat as well. There's the Mekong, the mighty Mekong. Look at that beautiful river. And just over there on the north side, that's Lao. Okay, oh, well, bit of Ronin, Ronin Keaton going on there. Let's get away from that before I get a copyright strike. And, uh, oh, bit of screaming covering it up. So, yeah, we're out and staying here for two reasons. I'll tell you why in a sec. Hang on a minute. There's the pool, by the way. Beautiful pool. And if you look down in the description, I'll show you exactly where we are. I'll put links as usual down in the description. That guy standing there, that young, young, slim, handsome looking man, that's one of the main reasons why we're here. There's David, another young, handsome man there. Tina, that's Dave's wife. Everyone knows O, there's O. <laughs> and there's Pookie. Pookie. May I help you? Yeah. So Dave wants to know, can you want to go eat anything? Yeah. yeah, I'm starving. I'm yeah, starving. Yeah. So, right. First of all, the hotel, Pookie. How much did you pay for it? Thousand two hundred baht, okay. include for the breakfast. one night. Yeah, yeah. Okay. One night standing. One night standing. Yeah. We're having a one night stand, are we? <laughs> maybe, Short time. maybe tomorrow night too. How? I tip you tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen to this. Okay, we're here for two reasons. First reason, 
Um, Pook was saying a few weeks ago now about a friend of hers from back in the UK, Nock. Now, um, Nock's husband, well, let me tell you, when Pook was going through some difficult times in England, before I knew her, mm -hmm. before her life was turned around to this beautiful, wonderful life she's got now with me, um, you know, going through some troubled times, and Nock was always there for her, mm. and Graham, her husband, and they would always invite her around for something to eat. Mm -hmm. They'd help her out, and yeah. might be a shoulder to cry on. Yeah. So, Graham, he's been having some uh, bad health issues recently. Pook said, I really want to go and see them. We haven't mm. seen them since we came over here. Yeah. They're living here full time. Mm -hmm. And so um, Pook said, I want to go and see them and personally thank them while we're here. Mm. So whereabouts is it they live? What was the area? I'm not Jaren. Okay, uh -huh. I'll show you on a... Oh, yeah, sorry. No need to see that on no, the map. But where are we now? What's this area called? It is called uh, Kemarat. Kemarat. Uh -huh. Kemarat. Kemarat. Kemarat, right <laughs> on the Mekong River. Uh -huh. So... That was the first reason that we were coming here. But at the same time, I'm speaking to Dave, Dave Ozzy, and uh, he was saying that he was traveling up to this area to visit his wife's family. He mm. comes here, I think, you come here once a year, don't you, Dave? Once yeah. a year you come up here, yeah, don't you? I, I haven't been for two years. Oh, here you uh, go, but they come up and visit usually, Tina's family. Usually once a year if we can. Yeah, uh. visit Tina's family sometimes. So uh -huh. I knew he was up here, so I said, look, we can double up on it. We can go and visit Pook's friends, mm. and then we'll come over here, hours drive from her friend's place, and it's very close to where Tina's family live. Yeah. So that was the second reason we came mm -hmm. here. Now, that second reason, I'm telling you, you know that we're getting into the health thing. We're involved in the um, health food and supplement business now, Pook and I, up in Udon Thani. And so <laughs> we're starting to talk a bit more about that, good health, and everyone knows that we fast, we do the intermittent mm. fasting. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna sit down a little while and have a chat with Dave Ozzy. His story will blow you away, I absolutely guarantee it. And listen, I promise you, if you care one iota about your health, if you care one little bit about your health, have a listen to the rest of this, listen right through it. Because he's turned his life around regarding health issues that he's had for 20 years? 20 years. 20 years? Yes. Done away with them completely. His weight's dropped massively. But I'll go into the details. Don't tell too much details. I'm Save not it gonna. for next video. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. It's going to be the same video, oh, okay. but we'll sit down and we'll talk to Dave about it and he'll give us all the details and he'll tell you exactly how he did it. But um, honestly, believe me, if you care anything about your health mm. and your lifestyle, keep watching the video because it's going to be well worth you it. You'll be gobsmacked. You will be. You were gobsmacked. gobsmacked yeah. I was gobsmacked. I haven't uh -huh. seen Dave for over two years. Three, yeah, yeah. About two, that. Two, three, three years. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, as we walked in, he's in the pool here. I couldn't believe it. Uh -huh. I honestly wouldn't have recognised him. And you'll see what I mean. I'll show you some before and after pictures as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> you won't believe it. Uh, so that's it. We're going to go and grab something to eat now. And um, I'll sit down and have a chat with, with uh, Dave about what he's done and how he's turned his life around. Let me just give you a quick view of the room, show you what the rooms are like. Nice and spacious, very light. We're facing away from the river. I'd imagine the room's on the other side. They've, um, they've got views of the Mekong River. It doesn't look very old, this building, does it? No. Looks like quite a new place. It's a nice big, big bed. Oh, that's quite soft for Thai standards. A size fridge. Any beers in there? Let's get drunk. All the usual stuff, coffee making, and uh, let's have a look at the bathroom. That's okay. Little shower area, shower area down the end there. Wash basin, toilet, towels. Good. Very good. And Pookie, this is Pookie's treat by the way. I don't even know how much this is. How much does it come to? Uh, Thousand two hundred baht, including breakfast. That's good. Yeah. Really good. So there you go, guys. Down description, we'll put a link there. And uh, if ever you're up this way, and what's surprising is we've actually brought O and David to a place they've never been before. He's travelled all over Thailand, and usually it's like, yeah, and this is that. And yeah, we're going to take you here, and we're here. And he says, yeah, we've never been here before, so it makes a nice change as well. We just had a walk less than five minutes from where our um, hotel is along here. This place is called the Le Kong Resort. 
Pook will be laughing about my uh, pronunciation of that. But it's a nice little place here. Dave Ozzy's been here a few times. He's trying to talk over the music. So you've got lots of seating areas here. They've got places to stay here as well. They've got rooms that you can rent here. Hagen dazs ice cream. Let David know about that. And we're in this little room here having something to eat. So. Can you, can you tell us what we've got here? I think she's Thai. <laughs> Tom Yang. Pakang. Fish. Fish, okay. What else, Pookie? This is a sour fermented spirit. Okay. This one? Uh, from a lemongrass salad. Oh, it's not feeling very adventurous. She's got plain rice. I'm sure you'll manage some of the rest, yeah? You'll go for it. What you got, Dave? I've got chicken and red wine sauce. I've tasted that. It's gorgeous. really is. And what's yours? That big bowl you got there, Dave? Chicken red curry. Beautiful. I've got sweet and sour. We've got fried rice. Nice. Fried rice. And I've got plain rice with sweet and sour chicken, mixed vegetables. A lot of those green and yellow peppers. I love them. Shocking. Sorry, it's only, I do it's, have a little cheat now and again. It's not a cheat, mate. It's living. No, and that's what it is. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. And like I said, when we do that interview with Dave talking about his, uh, turning his life around, he doesn't have to give up beer completely. He's just cut back on it and he knows what's good for him now. Anyway, I'm starving hungry with my mouth watering. I'm going to get on with my dinner. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. So as I said earlier, two reasons we came here uh, today. One, to meet up with Pook's friend. Second one, to see Dave. He's up here visiting Tina's, um, Tina's family. Dave Ozzy. Now, Dave, he does me a real blinding favour. He helps out with the Facebook group. One of the moderators and uh, really makes things a lot easier for us. But also... I, I didn't know until a few months ago that Dave was looking at health issues and it wasn't for me to say, but I could have said back in the day, Dave, you could do something about your, about your health. Look at Dave now and uh, have a look at this photograph that I'm going to post up on the screen now. <laughs> How long ago was that photograph taken, Dave? It was about 18 months. 18, 18 months? 18 months thereabouts in a resort next to where we live. There you go. Okay. And, and and it, was, it was horrendous. Yeah. And, that, and that's really what made me think I got to do something. It wasn't until I seen that photo I yeah. thought that's that's just obscene. Uh -huh. <laughs> so um, I decided to do something about it. Okay, so I mean, there's there's a bit of a story behind how Dave discovered what he was doing. But just briefly, Dave, what was it you you discovered? What was it you found out about health? There was no like real serious dieting. There was no no no. Well, first of all, your your health back then. You had health issues. Yeah, I I was um, diagnosed. I went on a. Um, it was a medical, paid for by the company I was working for at the time, and um, it was called a lifestyle medical. Uh -huh. And um, they took some blood and everything and done some checks. And then they gave me a letter and said, we think you better take this to your doctor. Yep. So obviously concerned, I went to my doctor and they said they found glucose in my blood. And after a few more checks, turns out I was diabetic. Yeah. And um, it all went from there, really. I was um, given medication. I was also on medication for high blood pressure. Uh -huh. And this was about 20 years ago. Yeah. So when I spoke to my doctor, I said, how long am I going to be on this medication for diabetes? Uh -huh. And he said, it's a progressive, he did say something else, I can't remember the wording, uh -huh. but he said, it's a progressive disease, which yep. is only going to get worse, yep. and you will be on these tablets for the rest of your life. Right. So I just took that as, that's Gospel, life. That was it, yeah. And then um, I retired to Thailand nearly seven years ago. Yeah. And... I just battled on. Tina was going to Bangkok once a year to get all my medication mm -hmm. because it's a lot cheaper in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. And then um, that picture. <laughs> that picture. And I looked at it. I'll show you again. I, I wasn't. I wasn't sat down in a nice position, but yeah, yeah. I thought that it, that's just not me. Yeah. So I went on an eight-day fast. I was following a few people on the internet. One come to mind, Jason Fung, said about the benefits of fasting. Yeah. So I done a four-day fast. Mm -hmm and then got a little bit worried 
because my um, ketone readings, I bought a, a meter mm-hmm. that I've since found out. It's not accurate. No, no. But it increased by so much, I started to get worried. Mm. So Tina made me a bottle. So the, the ketones, once you start fasting, yep. the ketones kick in? Yep. What, and it, then... what it is, when you start burning fat, yep. the process of burning fat, it gives off acetone. Mm. And these meters uh, can pick up the acetone on your breath. Mm. So anyway, on the fourth night, Tina made me some soup and I was so sick mm. after not eating for four days. Mm. I'd done another four days. Yeah. yeah. Which was easy because I, I just didn't want to be sick again. Sure, don't eat. I don't want to be sick. I lost about, it was over seven kilos in eight days. Whoa. Which shocked me a little bit. But yeah. anyway, I started watching some videos looking for something to do. I've tried all the diets you can think of. Uh-huh. Uh, low carb and this and that and mm. cut your calories and mm. and I came across a video I think it was a guy called Ken Berry he's a doctor and he was promoting a carnivore diet which I'd never heard of and I know what you're thinking probably what I was thinking at the time what a load of crap mm. and then because I watched the one video there was another video from YouTube suggested similar thing mm. And then I watched another one and another one. I didn't act on it. And then I started seeing videos from people like myself who were overweight. And the videos they were making was all but miraculous. Mm, yeah. And being That's a bit, how it comes across. Yeah, being, yeah. A, being a bit of a sceptic, I mm. thought, well, who am I to criticise these people when I haven't tried it myself? Yeah, sure. So I thought, right, give it 30 days. Mm. Anybody in their right mind can do something for 30 days mm. it's not difficult so i done it for 30 days I just ate meat fish eggs butter full fat everything and not worried and drinks you're drinking water I was drinking water I still drink coffee I yeah. still drink tea Black and coffee. I do like no no coffee with milk oh okay yeah and I still enjoy the occasional beer. What about when you're fasting? Yeah, but what As about you when you? Yeah. What about when you're fasting though? You have black coffee then? No, nope, I have white coffee and I have tea. Oh, so okay. So because you I are like, actually taking milk I, in. Yep, I like my coffee. Yeah. Um, I do like tea. I cut it down. I didn't have too many. I was having sort of one coffee in the morning, one coffee in the afternoon, and right. a few teas in between. Okay. But you can't eliminate everything. No. And on a carnivore diet. Uh, dairy products are okay so I don't know oh yeah what I'm saying is on the actual diet it's just that when I'm fasting I don't have anything at all no milk all I have is black coffee water that's the fluids I take and green teas and things like that I still have coffee every morning with milk even when you're fasting even when I'm fasting okay and I can do a five day fast now easy yeah yeah sure easy okay I must admit same as me nine o'clock at night always have me a cup of coffee yeah with with the milk milk, yeah milk milk. I've gone off track a little bit where was I Uh, okay so you were saying about me kicking in I done the 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 30 days and a a couple couple of things we noticed Uh, Tina noticed the first one after three days, she said, Dave, you don't snore anymore. And I, I didn't really believe it. because That's partly going to be to do with weight yeah, loss, though, isn't it? You don't hear yourself snore anyway. No, that's so right. So no. that, that was one of the differences. Mm. And then within two weeks to a month, my gums stopped bleeding. When you were brushing When I teeth? was brushing yeah, my teeth. Yeah. And then I did lose uh, a little bit of weight. After losing the seven or eight kilos on fasting, yeah. I put that back on. Okay. At least seven kilos in the next week and a half right but then i started losing weight again mm. but more gradually yeah and then i had a period after about a, a, a month maybe six weeks where i didn't lose any weight mm. but when i'd have a shower i'd notice a difference i noticed my shoulders getting leaner mm. i could see the muscles mm. in my legs yeah and something was changing i couldn't quite put my finger on it i, I, I said to my wife something's changing mm. And then after two months, I decided to go and have a diabetes check. Mm. Now, for anybody that knows anything about diabetes, the prick in your finger is only there and now. To do a proper diabetes check, you need a HbA1c, which measures the sugar that's stuck to your hemoglobin. Mm. And your hemoglobin only lasts three months. So I should have really done it after three months. Mm. But being a bit impetuous, I done it after two months. Mm. And not so only you had a test and then I you waited the, two months and tested again? No, I had the test at okay. two months. Okay. And my HbA and 
uh, HB A1C was 5.4, uh -huh. which means I wasn't even pre-diabetic. No, I done no, it. No. I done it a month after, and I gone down a little bit more to 5.3. Right. Now my doctor was a professional in the UK. Yeah. Told me. I was never going to get off this disease no. and I was never going to have to stop the tablets. So there's a perfect example that the medical world mm. are, they're giving you BS, they're giving you bullshit. And listen, call it a conspiracy theory, call it what you want. It's becoming more and more prevalent now, more and more people are realising that it can only point towards pharmaceutical companies selling drugs, making money. Is there a collusion between the medical profession and them? It's not for me to say, but... It certainly doesn't look too good, does it? Well, I went to see a guy called um, Dr. Olivier, I think it is. He's um, a Farang doctor yeah. um, near John TN. Uh -huh. Excellent guy. He speaks German, he speaks French, he speaks Thai. Mm. You can really understand him and talk to him. Mm. And um, I went in there just to check what I was doing. I come off my blood pressure tablets because my blood pressure also returned to normal. Yeah. And um, I went to see him just to tell him what I'd done. I didn't ask him if I should do it. I think I'm big enough and ugly enough to make my own decisions yeah. about my health. Yeah. I check my blood pressure every day. Mm. I check my blood sugar every day. Mm. Um, I had my ketone monitor, so I knew I was burning fat. Mm. And I said to the doctor, he'd, he'd done a little check, a few bits and pieces, and said, um, you're looking good. I said, well, why ain't this promoted? He said, basically, there's no money in it. It's free. And this is a doctor telling you that, yeah? No, I'm not telling you this. I know what a lot of people out there are thinking. What a load of crap. Yeah. And that's the only thing I can suggest is instead of mouthing off, give me a load of crap online, yeah. try it yourself. Yeah. That's yeah. all you got to do yeah. is try it yourself. Give it a month. And the other thing about a carnivore diet, you eat till you're full, so you're never hungry. Mm. If eight o'clock in the night... You start to get a bit peckish, have a couple of boiled eggs, meat, bacon, chicken, mm. just cutting out all the carbohydrates. Mm. I've not eaten any fruit or vegetables in nearly 11 months now. It's, mm. coming, up, it's coming up to 11 months. Mm. I dropped 14 kilos. Mm -hmm. I've never felt fitter. Mm. I told Kevin quite a long time ago. Mm. And... To be honest, I don't mind anybody can fire me some questions on Facebook, on, on the, the YouTube. YouTube yeah. Dave's or, got his own YouTube channel, by the way. Or the Isan Farang group. Yeah. You can ask me any questions. Just don't give me a load of crap because I don't particularly care. Yeah. It works for me. Mm. But if somebody else wants to try it, I'm quite happy share to some information. share some information, yeah. tell you what I've done, mm. tell you... You know, obviously in the first two weeks I was very uncomfortable. Mm. All your microbiome in your stomach needs to change. Mm. And you might get the runs for a little while, you mm. might get a bit of constipation. Mm. Funny just about work that. just work through it. Mm. You know, and the weight started going down and down and down. And I just can't believe it. So just basically it's not that you've got to do these long fasts. Every now and then, Dave will throw in a three-day, a four-day fast where he has nothing at all for those amount of days. But what you what you are doing is you're, you're, you're still having the 16-hour fast every day. You're ensuring yeah, well, that. The, the, the thing is, it's really hard to explain, right? When, when I was eating calves and before I'd done any of this, yeah. sometimes I get so hungry. You must have all experienced this. You get so hungry, you can't walk past your fridge. Yeah. I gotta have a, a slice of cheese, yeah. a, a little bit of meat that's hanging hanging about in the fridge or something. <laughs> yeah. But now, and and I've since found out that it's not you're hungry; it's an addiction, like heroin addiction, yeah. like alcohol addiction, yeah. um, addiction, smoking. Yeah. You're craving carbs. Mm. Now, after about a month, maybe month and a half, so I can't I can't put an exact yeah. time on it. It's a different type of hunger. I can be sat there and think, I could probably eat in the next two hours. Two hours might go by and I think, well, I'm not really hungry, so I'm not going to eat. Mm. But what they tell you to do is when you do eat, eat until you're full. Mm. Don't just have a snack and think, right, I'm on a diet. Mm. I, I eat uh, mainly ribeye steaks, mm. which I buy from Macro. Mm. Um, I give Kevin a sheet of how we prepare our steaks, if mm. anybody's interested. Um, I'm sure you, you can pass, pass it on. on yeah. um, 
but obviously the the steaks are running at about 500 baht a kilo. Mm -hmm. But prior to, to me finding out about the steaks, I was eating mincemeat. Yeah. And I cook like a quarter of a pound, half a pound of mincemeat, crack four eggs in it. Yeah. If you want more, crack six eggs in it. Yeah. Eggs won't kill you. Yeah. They don't raise your blood sugar. No. Meat, whether it's mincemeat, ribeyes, any other steak that you like, will not raise your blood sugar. Again, as David mentioned earlier, yeah. how not so long ago we were all told, oh, you can't have too many eggs, two eggs a, a, a two week. Eggs maximum week. Edw Edwina Curry. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, and it, it, it's, it's nonsense, absolute nonsense. You, a lot of you guys know already that almost every day, pretty much every day, I'm having four eggs, sometimes more for breakfast, and, um, and then maybe more protein during the day. And later on in the day, I'll have one meal later on. But, um, but... For me, for me and Pook, what's worked for us is simply whatever time we finish eating, we usually finished eating by five or six in the evening, so then we don't eat until nine or ten o'clock the following day. Don't really, I, I'm not, I'll be honest with you, I'm not really that strict, I'm not on a carnivore diet mm. like you, but it works for us and it's fine. But um, with Dave, he's doing the fast, he's doing the, the 16 hour fast most of the time. Well, but it's, it's the, actually longer than that. I'm actually doing And it's not, it's not yeah, planned. Yeah. It's, it's not planned. It's not planned 16 hours, 18 hours. I, now, I only eat when I'm hungry. Uh -huh. Now, I've just had a, a meal here. I had steak and five eggs this morning. Yeah. Um, I just had a bit, of, a bit of a cheat today. I've had um, chicken in red wine sauce. That's I've right. had a couple of beers. Now, yeah. tomorrow, when I get on my scales tomorrow, it'll go up by a probably over a kilo. Mm -hmm. But the next day, it'll be back down again. Mm. And if I, sometimes I, I just sit there and think, I don't want nothing to eat today, I'm not hungry. But I'm still burning the same calories as anybody out there. But I'm burning them from a different place. And you're not going to the gym and burning those calories, no, are you? and I do very little exercise. It's just know? natural. I'm a bit lazy. Yeah, it's just and, natural. And something else that, that I've learned through all this, is if you want to diet properly, you need to know a little bit about blood sugar, whether you're diabetic or not, and more so insulin. Uh -huh. Because when you eat carbohydrates, your <coughs> blood sugar goes up, then your insulin goes up accordingly. And before your insulin comes back down, most people eat something else. So your insulin goes up, and then it comes down a bit, up, up, up. While you've got elevated insulin in your blood, it's impossible to lose weight. Yeah. It's impossible. Yeah. So you can go to the gym as long as you like. Yeah. Do this, do that. You won't lose any weight. Uh -huh. You've got to get the insulin down. Because yeah. the insulin is high, it will always go after the sugar. Yeah. So if you eat something sweet, it will go yeah. after that, and it will stop going after your belly fat. Yeah, yeah. And it go always for the easiest. Yeah, it's like water yeah. flow. Yeah. It always goes the easiest way. Insulin yeah. is the same thing. It will always go for the easiest place where you can get the sugar, mm, sure. and that's it. Mm. And yeah. it, the other thing I learned as well. <coughs> is if, if you're on a, a normal, if you just eat like what I would call normal people, carbohydrates and everything, and you decide you're going to cut your intake of, of calories, if you reduce your eating by 500 calories, your body says, well, I got 500 calories less every day. Mm. So what it does, it reduces your metabolic rate by mm. 500. Mm. So you'll be a bit more lethargic, you'll be a bit slow, a bit sleepy. Mm. When you start eating normally, it'll gain the 500 Bring it back. back up again, yeah. And that's why your diet goes down and goes up, goes down and goes up. Yeah. If you don't eat at all, like fasting, but I wouldn't recommend fasting until you get into a, a sort of a, I don't like to say ketogenic, because yeah. everybody thinks it's some weird, weird thing. Weird cult, yeah. But, but, but that's how your body should should perform. Yeah. You eat, and then you fast. So you you uh, produce ketones, which your brain can use, like glucose. Your brain can use glucose. All your cells can use glucose, but they can also use ketones. Mm -hmm. And the idea being is you eat, and then uh, a bit later on, then when you're not eating your body starts feeding on the stored fat. Mm. Now, that could take a month before you start. It might take two weeks, depending on your metabolism. Mm. You might do it quicker, it might take longer. Mm -hmm. But once you start burning your fat, mm. you're no longer hungry. Yeah. I'd never thought it possible, but I can go five days now. Yeah. Easy. 
without eating. Yeah, any food at all. And I'm burning. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, done and I'm does, burning. Yeah. I'm burning the same amount of calories yeah. as my wife. Yeah. But I told her hers comes from the fridge. Yeah. Mine comes from my middle. Takes it off your body fat. Yeah, that's right. It's yeah. Unbelievable. So I wanted to bring this to you because, like I said, me and Poop, because we're now part of the health food and supplement business, uh, Health Food Thailand, we want to start talking about health more. We're finding more and more people, and it's almost like a movement that's growing. More and more people are becoming aware of it. More people are starting to pay attention to their own health because it's the only way you're going to get it. A lot of the time you won't get it from medical professionals, and a lot of the time here you just get fed bags of drugs pills they yep. send them out to you what i'm going to do later on i'm going to do a separate interview with david because david's story as well relating to this relating to fasting and and just looking and at the what calcium is it. calcium score we're test. going to do the yeah there's, there's something to do with the calcium score as well I'll yeah sorry you, Dave. i'll give you two um guys i've watched hundreds if not thousands of videos over the past 11 months yep but I'll give you two of my favourites, a guy called Dr. Ken Berry mm. and another one, Anthony Chaffee. Now, mm. Anthony Chaffee is pretty extreme. Yeah. He only eats steak yeah. and uh, water. Yeah. He mm. don't, I don't think he drinks coffee no. or anything like that, and he's the fittest doctor you'll ever see in your life. Wow. And he talks so much sense. Mm -hmm. And believe me, don't. I'd say I, I don't mind a bit of criticism, mm. But only criticise me if you've tried it yourself. It needs to be said or mm. constructive you've got to, you've got, criticism. Yeah, you've, or got to, you've got to do it yourself. Be aware of it. Yeah, right? give it a try. If yeah. you if you if you go to a birthday party, yeah, and you, and somebody gives you some cake, eat it. Yeah, eat it. Yeah. Eat it. Don't don't worry about it. Eat yeah. it. Yeah. But make sure you stay on track. Yeah. It's just if you have a birthday every day and you yeah. go to the pizza <laughs> every day, yeah, you don't sure. have your pork pies and yeah, the, yeah. The pastry and. If you do that all every day, yeah. that makes you fat. Yeah. I've had people criticize me before, and I'm sat there looking at them with the massive bellies, which I had, yeah. and their purple legs, which yeah. I haven't had, yeah. and they're telling me that I should be eating fruit and vegetables. Yeah. I haven't eaten any fruit and vegetables for 11 months, yeah. and I'm still here. Yeah. I'm leaner than I've ever been. Yeah. Admittedly, I got a bit of loose skin, yeah. which I've been told um, if you want to Google uh, a process called autophagy, uh, say that again. Autophagy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A U T O. Yeah. Yeah. Autophagy is supposed to happen after two or three days, mm -hmm. where your body thinks, right, I got nothing coming in. Yeah. Right. So you fasted for two or three days. Longer the better. Yeah. There's nothing coming in, so I need to recycle all the dead cells, yeah. all the bits you don't need. Yeah. That's when you can get rid of excess skin. Sure. Now, I haven't experienced it for myself because I'm only um, ten and a half months in. Yeah. But this is the way I eat now. Mm. I'm never going to go back to pies and pasties no, and no, chips no. and. No. Um, I'm going to stay eating. I don't even call it a diet anymore. This is no, this is your way of this life. is what your I eat. Living, yeah, yeah. yeah caliber, no, no, it's awful. No alcohol. This is, yeah. this, this is a Leo, yeah. and I can guarantee you now my weight will go up tomorrow. Yeah. But the day after, I'll be It'll back to normal. come back down again, yeah. And I'm now, I'm 66 years of age. Yeah. I started all this when I was 65. Yeah. I was um, at my lightest. Well, I was 10 stone 9, mm. which I can't ever remember being that light. Mm. Uh, for me, it's worked perfectly. No well, medication whatsoever, no. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Hey, absolutely excellent. So there you go, the diabetes, the high blood pressure gone completely now that, what's that one more thing go on i've got a friend that has a coffee with me he yeah probably won't mind oh me. yeah 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 he probably won't mind me mentioning his name and he said to me if i was in the uk and you called what's me, his first name dorian 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 okay. proper welsh guy okay he said to me if i was in the uk and he was explaining all this yeah. he said i wouldn't believe you yeah he said because he has coffee with me most days he's, and seen, he's it. seen the result yeah he wants to do something similar. Yeah. So he's taking it easy, mm. he's doing the correct method, mm. he's just reducing his carbs. He's not a full-blown carnivore yet. No. Um, he's just reduced or eliminated the bread, the yeah, pasta, yeah. Um, what else is there? All, all the carbohydrates. Yeah, yeah. He's been yeah, doing yeah. it two months, he's already dropped the stone. Excellent, in two months. And no exercise, he's actually got bad knees. Mm. No exercise whatsoever. He might even find in time, those, he, he gets improvement in, in the knees. In six weeks he's going back to the UK yeah. and he said he's got um, a meat supplier yeah. 
and he's going to do what I do. Yeah. Like I say, Kevin's got a, a sheet that I made a while ago mm. where you can buy good quality stuff from Macro. Yeah. And um, the process that we use the way actually you makes it taste better. Store it better. and everything else, yeah, it, it, it matures sure it nicely. And Kevin might I'll, be able to add it to this video. I'm, yeah, sure, I'm sure, yeah, yeah. Or we'll, we'll put it in the group anyway. Well, there you go. Thanks very much, Dave. No problem. Absolutely excellent. If, anybody, wa if anybody wants to write to me or anything... Oh, what's your YouTube group? Uh, Thailand Sites. Thailand Sites. I'll put a link to that down in the description. Um, and you can always get Dave on the Facebook group as well. And like I say... Within the next week or so, I'll be doing an interview with Dave about the same thing. He's got a, a different approach to it. Dave's, it. Dave's approach is very similar to mine, but we'll go through that another time. But um, thanks very much, Dave. Appreciate it. And I'm, honestly, no I'm problem. so I'm really chuffed for him. You know what I mean? When I look at that picture, that's, how I, that's the only way I knew him. I hadn't seen him for over two years. And then to see him in the swimming pool when we went round, round the hotel today... It's like it's like his younger brother, or he's you know what I mean. He's his younger cousin or something. I'm well, really you, pleased for you, you mate. You probably can. Really pleased. You probably can't see this. Well, no, I'm going to post it. You send oh, me. There, you there, no, there you, are. you send me that, and Is I'm going to I'm going to post. I'll post it again so you can see it again. The picture is actually look at very, this. Very embarrassing. And now look at this. And yeah, I'm going to post that Kevin picture will, right now. I'll send a picture to Kevin, but it's go. actually <laughs> embarrassing. Well, you're going to get it, mate. Right? But, you but you this is you now. Excellent. I just hope people. You know, I I know I keep saying this. Give it a month. Yeah, just look at your own health. Give it a month. Start to be don't responsible. Go, don't for your go health. crying about it now and say, "Oh, well, my mates are vegan, my mates yeah, are vegetarian." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a toss about all that. No, it's if what's working If somebody wants to do something, yeah. try it. Yeah. And then you can say, "Well, I tried it for a month and I couldn't get on with it." Yeah. Well, that's a diff that's a different story. That's sure. your experience. Yeah, yeah. But just try it. Absolutely. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Excellent. Okay. Oh. Links are down in the description. Have a look down there, and we'll be back again soon with another video. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye.